Hi, and welcome to this Track Wrestling Help video. Here at Track Wrestling, we strive to make running your event as easy and efficient as possible. In this video, we will discuss users and how those users will help your tournament run successfully. Once you're logged into the tournament, you're going to select the left menu. From there, you'll click on Users. Here you will see that there's three different user type, an administrator, a statistician, and a worker. We're going to go ahead and click on administrators, and that's going to bring us to the tournament admin page. Here you can click add admin, and you'll see that it's asking for a first name, a last name, a username, and a password. Once you have that information filled out, you'll hit add. And you will see here that the administrator has been created. If you need to edit the administrator, you just simply click on the administrator's name and you will see here that you enter the ad edit admin page. Here you can fix your username, password, spelling of the admin's name, and you always want to make sure you hit save. So now you see that we have an administrator added. Track Wrestling has a great feature so you can control the users in your, your tournament by this valid online. If you see valid online next to the username, that means their user password and username is active and they are able to enter your tournament with a login. If you click on the valid online, it'll now turn to invalid online. What that means is the username and password is no longer active and they will not be able to use that information to log into the tournament until you re hit the invalid online button to make it valid once more. A thing about your administrators is, is they have full access to your tournament. They have access to your adding brackets, changing brackets, your mat schemes, number schemes, moving bouts. So really you want somebody in administrator role that has a basic knowledge of track wrestling and is somebody you can work with to make your tournament a success. If you do need to delete your administrator for any reason, you can click on the administrator's name, click delete, uh, do as what it says in the pop out, which is this is just hit OK. And now you'll see that your administrator is removed. You do not have to go back to the left menu or the user menu to uh, move on to the other users. You just simply need to click the statistician button above and that'll take you to the tournament statistician page. Um, here is it a drop down menu where you can add a statistician, add a team statistician. You can also send notifications and emails out to all the statisticians that you have within your tournament. We're going to cover adding just a statistician. When you add just a statistician, this is an individual statistician, somebody who can help you with an on-site registration and on-site weigh-in. They'll be able to correct wrestlers' names. They'll be able to add weigh-in information, uh, register the wrestler, as well as make sure that team names are accurate and weight class and age groups are correct. Uh, your statisticians are really getting all of your wrestling information as accurate as possible before you import that information into your brackets, which will help alleviate a lot of changes in the morning before your event. To add the statistician, you'll just fill out the information requested again. Also, with your statisticians, because you are able to communicate within the statistician page, you want to make sure that you have accurate email information added. Once you have that information, you'll hit add, and now you've added a statistician to your event. You can add as many individual statisticians as you need to make your way your weigh-ins and your um, on-site registration move smoothly, such as a youth tournament. You may have a statistician for one each age group from 6 to 14. Uh, also, somebody on your pre-registration. So you're going to want to make sure that you have enough statisticians to cover your weigh-ins. If you want to add a team statistician, you'll come to this drop-down menu and you'll click Add Team Statisticians. This is telling me that I'm about to add a new statistician to each team. So any team that you have put into your tournament will automatically get a statistician when you hit OK. 
So you can see here that the four teams that I had within my tournament now have been given a username and a password that is populated by Track Wrestling. What you really want to make sure you do for your teams is that this information with your statistician's email address and phone number already pre-filled so you can send them notifications of when they can access your tournament to add wrestler information. And then you'll hit save. Uh, the more information that your, your team populates over, the easier your statistician uh, information will be. Uh, a team statistician will be able to enter the wrestlers into your event. They'll be able to enter the wrestlers' weight into your event. They'll be able to remove a wrestler. They'll be able to change age groups, birth dates, um, all up until your cutoff point. Uh, that's what makes this team statistician great because they're just automatically entering that information. Once you have all of your statisticians here, you can click this button to uh, deselect all of your statisticians or click it again and all of your statisticians will be selected. Um, under your drop down menu again, you can send notification emails such as uh, your tournament's open and you can add your wrestlers. Your, your close date will be, you know, Friday before your event. Um, so when you click that, this basically is saying that you need to make sure your weight classes, your age groups are set up and ready to go before you send the notification information. Um, you can also send custom emails. Uh, you'll click here. This pop-up is basically saying that if you have a long, detailed email, you're going to want to type that into your own e personal email or on a document and copy and paste it into this because there is it does time out. Uh, so again, you'll just enter your email, your subject, you'll type your message, and then you'll hit send. Uh, the statisticians are absolutely amazing people to have in your tournament because the more that they do before, the less changes that you'll have to do the morning of your event. Your other user is a worker. So to add a worker, you is much like adding an administrator. You'll click in, you'll add the first name, you'll add the last name, a username, and a password. Unlike the administrator where you're going to want it to have a very individual type email where only you and your administrator knows it, a tournament worker is slightly different. You don't want to make it too general where like the general population of your tournament's going to know it, but you certainly can make it where um, each tournament worker has the same user and login. A uh, tournament worker would be those computers at the mat side to score. You may have a, a computer attached to a projector that has your call to mat with on who's on deck and who's in the hole. You also may have a computer with your announcer who's announcing wrestling as they come onto the mats, um, all those workers can have the same username and password. Um, if you would like to individualize it more, you certainly can by adding like a table worker. and then you'll hit add. So you can do that if you have one table or if you have 16 tables, each table can have their own username and password. You can make a projector username and password. You can make a username and password for your announcer um, and then you'll give those username and passwords to your tournament directors the day of your event. Again, this has the valid online feature. So if you want to make your passwords valid so they can log in. You simply want to make sure that says valid online. If you don't want your, your workers to have access until the day of your event, you just want to make sure that those say invalid online uh, so nobody can access it uh, before or after your event. This is a quick overview of adding users to your event. If you have further questions or if you have any more questions about Track Wrestling, please feel free to reach out to Track Wrestling Customer Success Team. Thank you very much.